Hello everybody, welcome back to the Goalie Be A Pro where we have taken a complete U-turn in the last episode. We went from being in total control of the series to being one game away from elimination. I don't know what it was, but the San Jose Sharks just woke up and chose W in the last video because they won three straight after we won the first two. So they brought it to a best of three and now they are ahead in said best of three. How that happened? I'm not sure. But here we are. If we take a look at the lines, we can see that Eichel is out. On top of that, we are also missing Petrangelo still, which is extremely unfortunate. We do have Timothy Jimothy in the cage, but also the last three games has not been phenomenal. So will injuries destroy us or will we be able to persevere through this and manage to win two in a row to take out the San Jose Sharks and make it to the Western Conference Finals? Let's find out. We need a good sim. First period. That's good. Thank you, Liam. Second period. Ah, oh, it's a 1-1 hockey game. They've been scoring on me relatively easily. So I'm quite concerned right now, actually. I feel like I don't enjoy our chances. Perhaps a Stanley Cup was just not meant to be with the Golden Knights. But, I mean, we could still win this and then push a game seven. So I'm not totally ruling it out yet. What a play! No way! That was phenomenal. We're actually winning. 2-1. Let's go, boys. That's a stellar way to start this third period. And on top of that, we're in the lead. What a pass and what a shot. So now I just got to do what I can sometimes do and keep the puck out of the net. Definitely a lot easier said than done. Merkley almost had a point shot there. We will see a point shot. Kicked it aside. Eklund has it in the corner. A battle will ensue. Goes behind the net. Oh no, not like this. Timo. Ferraro over to Merkley now. Finds his way in the slot. Oh, they're passing this puck around beautifully. I don't like it. Sends it in deep. Good old-fashioned hockey play there. Get pucks deep. And we bring it out of the zone. Not gonna lie, that was a very stressful 20 to 30 seconds right there. See, I feel like our team is now all of a sudden playing with urgency. Like, why wouldn't we have been doing this the whole series? We have some great passing plays going. We're taking shots defensively. We're getting in their way, battling behind the net. I've never seen it before. If we keep this up, then absolutely we could win the cup. I like this battle right here. Mackenzie Wieger kicks it out, and that will be found by Hurdle. It even seems like we've once again found our physicality in this game. So that is an extra bonus. That almost went in. No, absolutely not. That would have been a free goal for 2-5. I'm not having it. I need us to get one more. This whole single goal margin thing, not a super large fan of that. So if we could get that insurance marker, double it up, I won't complain. In fact, quite the opposite. I will celebrate it with open arms. So go ahead, get another one. Go score a goal, you. That will be saved. I was so scared right there. <laughs> it was like instinct to pass it out, but I genuinely did not want to that time. It worked though, Arvidsson keeps it in. He has been playing outstanding in this game. Oh dear. We are headed to the penalty kill. For the next two minutes, Mark Stone headed off for slashing. Not a great scene. We can kill this off. Easy. Look at that. Clean draw win. Down the ice it goes. That's a phenomenal way to start this PK. And then they just gave up on it. Bordalo almost found a man backdoor as well. He was trying there. But the pass would be intercepted by the San Jose Sharks. That shot gets deflected. O'Reilly with it. Oh man, they're moving the puck. Bordalo, you legend! 30 seconds to go. Nice try. Oh my word. Liam was right there for that. He knew it was coming. And just like that, we are back to even strength. What a phenomenal penalty kill from the Golden Knights. Everything so far in this third period has been extremely ideal. We've even been winning or possibly have won every single draw in our zone. And I don't know, haven't really been paying as much attention to the ones outside of our zone because they're not as important to me as a goalie. But yeah, we're doing great all around right now. We have two minutes to go. The one goal lead, I think we're gonna do it. We're gonna push a game seven. I'm calling it right now. The way we're playing, there's no way we don't. Call. Spins in, takes a shot that is nowhere near the net, but it finds Nate and the rebound. 
from Mark Stone, his second of this third period, gives us the insurance marker. It's game seven time, again. San Jose just took a slashing penalty of their own, so if it wasn't already over, it is for sure now. Another draw win for your Golden Knights. Under a minute to go, it is all but over. The fans are not having it. They're extremely upset. Oh, they kind of cheered up. I guess they heard me. Uyghur sends it behind the net. We have a five on three. All right. No, we don't. Why does it say five on three then? What's going on? Oh, they pulled their goalie. That checks out. Let's go, Liam. Right in the middle. We buried them. It is time for a game seven. And we have the momentum going into it. Why did it show Jeff Carter? What is happening right now? We live to see another day. Four goals on 17 shots. They had 23 and only put in one. Which means TJ very well could be the number one star of the game. Nate Mack at number two. Skip the replays. Just show me who's number one. I need to know. Very deserved though for Nate Mack. Oh, come on. We can't blow this. We just pushed a game seven. We have to take a dub now. It's about that time. Golden Knights, Sharks, game seven. Let's see how it goes. Just give me a half decent sim here. First period, one nothing. Let's go, cop. Second period, two nothing. Nate Mack, that is great. All right, we took a penalty, but we killed it off last time. So hopefully we can do the repeat here. Mark Stone again, You're supposed to be the captain. Why are you out here taking penalties like it's nobody's business? Now I can tell that San Jose is playing with big time urgency. They're moving the puck fast. They're moving themselves fast. It is going to be a third period where we need to match their intensity. Otherwise, we are done for. Because if they get one goal, they are going to feed off of that. I can already tell. What a save on Oshi. He didn't know what to do. He wanted to bring it out front. That's lame. Not a big fan of that. Well, our two-goal lead has been rinsed away. Maybe we could get it back right here. Look at Nate go. He's flying. Finds Arvidsson, who tries to shelf it. I like the idea there, Vicky, but unfortunately, the execution just wasn't it. Nice save on the doorstep. Yeah, like, they were not getting any of these chances last game. It is a totally new San Jose Shark squad in this game seven. And I'm not a fan of it. Not one bit. Let's go, Nate. Finds Mark Stone in the slot. He could have made up for his penalty. But alas, he did not. And now the Sharkies are coming back the other way. Tremendous back check, though, from Nate. Will break up any chance they had on his former teammate, Rantanen. They both somehow departed from Colorado. I don't know why, but I just keep feeling like this is still a two-goal game, and every time I look down at the score, I just get so nervous all of a sudden. Oh, no. In the middle, Merkley. I can't see it. Thank you, Gavrikov, for picking that up. And here we go. Andrew Kopp trying to get past his D-man, but he fails miserably. Eklund will be there to scoop up the puck. Goes for a pass across, and Stone will be there to pick it off. Just under eight minutes. We are doing a pretty good job right now of keeping them down in their end. But obviously, that's bound to change. Oshi kind of got rocked there, but also kind of didn't. I don't know what to really call all of that. Nathan, what are you doing? Nice try. Arvidsson again. He has been my MVP, I feel like, in this series. Only six and a half minutes separate us from the Western Conference Finals. Will we get there? Or will our dreams be shattered? Stay tuned. Nice pass. What a save. He just gave his team a chance. That was some great goaltending right there. And they owe him a massive thank you. We now have just over two minutes to go. Come on, boys. We can get this done. Just shut it down. And they're probably going to pull their goalie soon, I would imagine. So an empty netter. To uh, really lock this thing down? Timo, yeah, right. Miko, get out of here. Scram. To my surprise, they have not pulled their goalie yet. I guess there is still a minute 46. They might try to wait till the ultimate last minute to pull their goalie. Are you kidding me? Well, 
It's a tie hockey game all of a sudden. Nice job, cop. Gets past. What a play! How'd that not go in? What, what kind of absolute bull crap was that? And now, Rantanen gets a chance. Bit of a breakaway there. Saved it. O'Reilly in the slot. Also saved that. Are you, like, serious right now? There's no way. I'm being pranked. It was a fun run with the Golden Knights, but it simply was not meant to be. We're not getting our Stanley Cup here. Even if there's a team that- Wait, was Jack back? Jack was back and we still couldn't pull it off. Oh, no he wasn't. That's a game glitch for sure. <laughs> it just basically assumed that he was not injured, I suppose. The Winnipeg Jets go on to win the Stanley Cup, so... Obviously they put out the Sharks in the Western Conference Final. Coachella Valley Firebirds take home the AHL Championship. This was a contract year, right? Here's your draft results. Okay, are, are we signing contracts? We are signing contracts. The Edmonton Oilers, 50 wins on the year. They're offering the exact same as the Golden Knights and they only have one goalie. Yeah, I gotta go to Edmonton. Hopefully they can keep their team together and they're not all of a sudden crap. They also only have one goalie compared to five, three and two, which I'm probably a part of that too, but We'll ignore that. Philly's offering me more, but your record was complete cheeks, so I kind of want to win. Edmonton it is. And you know what? If they are all of a sudden bad, we'll just ask for a trade. It's that simple. Hey, Timothy. The last seasons have not been kind to you as the Stanley Cups keep slipping away. Yeah, okay, way to rub it in. Will this be your year? Probably not. There's 32 other teams in the league. It's not easy. So this one is win the Stanley Cup this season. This one's win the Stanley Cup, the Conn Smythe, and the Hart. Ha! No thank you. Although this one does give the ability for two abilities, I will be going with this one. <laughs> it seems a lot more likely. Conversation with a fan. Oh, I could possibly get X-Ray. Play on this team for f Oh, yeah, that's not happening. Sorry, bud. They're probably... There definitely will not even be five more seasons of this be a pro. I don't know if I'm missing something, but it's not letting me choose a goalie mask. From the team? I can go to standard mask or neck protector. So I'm gonna leave the neck protector off. And if I go to standard mask, it doesn't let me choose a, what what's going on? I guess I'm gonna be that dusty goalie that just has a random white helmet. Moment of truth, let's look at the lines and see if they are half decent. We've got Lafreniere playing with Xavier and Mitchell. Pretty solid. And then we have Yam with Holloway Pool Party. Hyman, Nuge, we're pretty solid. Defensively, we have Nurse and Pesci, and then Broberg playing with Alexiev. Yeah, we're pretty good defensively as well. Who's our backup goalie? Oh, we're gonna get a lot of starts this year, but let's play our first game with the Edmonton Oilers and see how it goes. Nil-nil after one, three-one after two. Here we go. The Vancouver Canucks somehow have Ovechkin and Larkin. I love it. It's kind of crazy just seeing these players jump all over the place and be a pro. I'm here for it 100%. They still have Hughes and Pedersen as well. They have Jacob as well. This team is stacked. Whenever we play against the Golden Knights for the first time, I have to jump into that game. It's mandatory. Nice pass. Uko Pekka will make the save though in a fairly dramatic fashion. I don't think that that's really the effect that Glass has because that player looked real weird. In the middle, it goes to Strom. He takes a shot. And I'm going to just show Edmonton what I do. <laughs> I'm going to put all my cards on the table early here. And just show them that I will be playing the puck very frequently. So they better get used to it. Nice play. Another good save from Uko Pekka who tosses it out. And that will be sent cross ice to Kraus. They have a really good team here in Vancouver actually. I'm kind of surprised that... Well, I guess it can only show three players on the front screen there. So that checks out. But it didn't show Hughes, Pedersen... Probably because it has Ovechkin and Larkin. Also, I don't think it's overall based. I think it's probably X-Factor based. It is actually, 100%. Because you can be a 90 overall with no abilities and you won't get shown there. It's kind of funny to me that both McDavid and Dreisaitl are gone. Neither of them decided <laughs> to stay in Edmonton. Pass the puck over there. And there you go. Some early team play. I am still disappointed. That's not the way I wanted our career with the Golden Knights to end, but... What a goal. Of course it was Ovechkin too. Had to absolutely send it home. 
It's a one goal game. Ovechkin goes for another shot. Nope. Nice try, Pedersen. I see what you're doing. Spawn camping. Absolutely not. Ovechkin tries again. Send that over to Darnell Nurse, who carries it up. I like it. Nice. Just spun off two guys, and that makes a phenomenal pass over to Lafreniere, who finds Mitch Marner. Tried to go Shelsky, but no. Uko Pekka had other plans. Got the oven on that. Hoaglander over to Pedersen, who cuts in the middle, and our defense will clog that up. Now we're headed to the power play. What a scene. Great stuff. I suppose after this, I should probably go and look at the awards. Forgot to do that. And, oh, I can't look at last year's stats, honestly. I'm not that upset about it, though, because I was just so done <laughs> with all of it. Plus, I think I already looked at the season stats in one of the earlier episodes. I would have done that before we started playoffs. I think, anyway. Yeah, I'm thinking maybe we get, like, one or two more seasons out of Timothy Jimothy. I kind of want to start a player be a pro. I don't know if you guys are even down for that, but I think it would be fun. I haven't actually fully committed to a player be a pro in quite some time, so I'm kind of down. Of course his stick breaks. That was a great triangle passing play going on there. And then the finale was cut short. Nuge, what a pass with the skate. This guy's playing soccer out here. Two and a half to go. We still have... <laughs> no, we don't. We don't have a one goal lead. Because Larkin just sniped me. This is not exactly the intro that I had in mind. But it's the intro we have. So we're going to have to live with it. I think I just barely got a piece of that. What are we doing out here? We're getting dominated all of a sudden. Don't let my first game with a new team go to a shootout. Just don't. Oh, oh no, not like this. That's not what I meant. Did I save that? Or did he just hit the side of the... I don't think I saved that one. Brady Shea got it and... Oh, actually, maybe did it hit my pad? Let's see. Slow motion here. If I can just... I think it did hit the right mini wheat. So would it have gone in? No. But I still think I get credited for the save. I still can't believe that we hit the crossbar slash post. Like, I feel like it hit the intersection point. I'm going back to the Golden Knights here, by the way. We hit, like, the very corner point it looked like. Somehow did not go in the net. Even though it didn't also fly right out. So it must have just hit it on a very weird angle. And then they came right back down the other way and scored on us. And here we are on a new team. Big save, and we will have a great defensive back check from Brett Pesci to pick that up and stop their team from getting the rebound. Borgo gets pinned, and Ovechkin gets a breakaway. Will it actually be a breakaway, though? Probably not. No, he gets caught up to by Darnell Nurse. Another great back check. Mitch, he kind of has a breakaway of his own. He won't score, though. Darnell Nurse stops up at the hash marks, manages to get past his guy. Finds Nurse again and buries it. That will be the hockey game. Let's go. First game with the Edmonton Oilers. And it is a W. Not a pretty W, but a W. They only had 28 shots. So our save percentage, not good to start the year. But that's all right. We can redeem it easily. Well, we were almost all green. An 892 save percentage, not horrible. James, how about you zip it? And with tonight's win, you hold the record for most wins in a season by a rookie goalie. <laughs> This game is too much sometimes. Anyway, I'm going to give them the star answer. Let's get that brand up there. I'm sick and tired of being the nice guy, trying to look out for teammates and whatnot. You know what? It's about time that I started looking out for myself. Oh, I already got hurt. Well, that explains why I played so bad then. Thank you for giving me an out. Yeah, you know, I would have saved that Ovechkin one time absolute bomb, but I was injured, so... That's why he was able to put it in the back of the net, obviously. Is there any point at looking at the stats for this year? We've only played one game, so I'm going to say no. But I will, however, look at the awards from last season. So, Winnipeg Jets, Stanley Cup champions, we already knew that. Pittsburgh Penguins won the Presidents. And the Columbus Blue Jackets played against Winnipeg in the finals. Kucherov gets the Art Ross and the Hart. Tony D with the Norris. The Brinkat gets the Lady Bing. Bourdon gets he called her memorial i have no idea why i pronounce it like that but maybe i'm right kyle connor gets himself a con smythe uko pekka the goalie that we just played against got the vesna and the jennings and he was on the edmonton oilers last year how about that edvinson gets the masterton and we also have the selkie going to barkov 
Nate Mack with the Ted Lindsay and Cooch gets the Rocket Richard. So he cleaned up, kind of. I think he got three in there. So solid year from Kucherov. All right. I can't think if there's anything else that I should show you guys. Maybe just the lines one last time. But it's not really important. Yeah. This is what we got. Well, thank you for watching. I appreciate you. And on that note, I will see you soon.